of uh, AX Armani exchange, uh, Mr. Torre Messina. Please coach your comment about the game. Well, uh, I think we beat uh, a very, very good team. I think Zalgiris is one of the best coach team in this league in terms of organization, in terms of effort. The quality of their defense is impressive because they put pressure for 40 minutes and they, it's not easy to play them. In fact, they won uh, some, some games and uh, seven straight at home, if I'm not, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Uh, so, uh, in a situation where we are without our starting point guard, Michael Roll, I think, did a fantastic job in providing us defense and offense. And our defense was at the level that we needed in a playoff game. This is a playoff game. Now, all games are basically playoff games. I'm very happy with the win and I hope in the next six games we'll finish the job. Questions? <clears throat> Your name? Coach, you had a high scoring game just two days ago. Uh, was today's performance uh, in part of a fatigue or is it something that Jalgris did well on defense? Well, I think it's a, it's a combination. It's also the fact that you know that you lost at home and you're a little bit tight, you know, you're a little bit nervous. You don't want to lose, lose another game. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's quite normal. There are not, the, the EuroLeague is strange. We just saw yesterday uh, FS winning by 35 uh, with Cesca uh, three months after they lost uh, by the same margin, more or less. I mean, everybody is once in a while is dropping a game. Uh, uh, two days ago, we didn't play the, the defense that is necessary to play. But, I mean, Fenerbahce had an excellent offensive night and, and deservedly won the game. Today it was completely a different game. I don't think you can compare these two games. It's not a matter of quality of the game. It's not that because you win by six or five in Zagreb, uh, it's a bad game or something went wrong or whatever. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I think you have a... Uh, an evaluation concept that I do not share at all. Donate? Coach, uh, it was a very nice moment after the first game in Milano, uh, where you met Coach Schiller personally and shared some ideas after the game. And I, I have a combined question. First of all, how unusual it was for you, you know, to receive such a request from the opposing team head coach. And the second question is, in your eyes, how is he handling his debut season in the EuroLeague and having in mind that he's you know, coming from the three-year experience in the G League, completely different environment? Uh, well, first of all, uh, I think he's a very classy person. And uh, I didn't meet him in the United States when I was there, and he was there. I met him here, and uh, I think he's a very, very classy person with a lot of knowledge. And honestly, I st I've stolen a, a few things uh, of what Zalgiri does for, for my team. And uh, the other, the other uh, question, I think he, he's handled pretty well. It's not easy to come in a foreign country with a different mentality. He lost Guarino in preseason, and Guarino was supposed to be an important piece of this team because he would have played the small forward and allow Grigonis to be more the big two. Uh, in this game, for example, he didn't have Milaknis. I think their defense is, is at very high level. Offensively, they depend, uh, uh, on, like everybody, on shooting nights. But I think he's doing a very, very good job. And I don't, see, I don't say that for free. I say that because I really believe it. Uh, Coach uh, Lithuanian basketball recently uh, struggles with uh, Danish basketball. Uh, can you tell a bit how Shavon Shields evolved uh, in Milano this, this season and also in this game? Well, I think he's having a terrific season. We're very happy with him. He's, uh, he's one of our best players. In, uh, he's a two-way player. He defends, he attacks, he takes decisions. Uh, even today, I think he was very, very important for our win. Uh, I, uh, we're all very, very happy with him, of course. Uh, last question, Donate. Uh, I just had a kind of the same question about Shawan Shields, but in the other end, uh, what was your idea of stopping his matchup, uh, Marius Grigonis, you, you know, and, and the main idea how to stop this offensive uh, flowing team like Jargis? I'm sorry, I did not understand. I'm sorry. Can you, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Uh, my idea was kind of, you know, my question is kind of, was kind of the same about Shawan Shields, uh, but I want to ask you in a different way. What was your idea in stopping his matchup, uh, Marius Grigonis, and also stopping such good flowing, good offensive flowing team like Jalgiris? 
Well, we just put a lot of effort. You don't stop Grigones. You might uh, try with all these great players. You, you might try to, uh, you know, make a, life a little bit more complicated. But you don't stop them. I mean, they 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 are so complete players, and uh, uh, you can just hope to limit the number of attempts, the limit of touches, limit their touches. You know. Uh, Try to be a little bit more with a bigger body on them. But it's, uh, I think overall we did uh, today. We had good weeks at help, and uh, the final play of uh, uh, Kyle coming to block the shot. Uh, but overall we had a good weak side, and uh, which was something that we didn't have in the game with Fenerbahce, for example. But you know, overall we are a team that works hard defensively, and today. We did it one more time and we won the game. That's it. It was a very close game. It could have gone both ways. But even for a few points, I think we led for almost the whole game. And it's not easy to you know, lead by two, by three, by four and keep your composure. I think we did it. And uh, uh, that, I mean, I, I got to give a lot of credit to my players. I'm very thankful for their effort. Sibet! Sibet! Lashimos! Lashimo automate! Rulete! Neatsakingas lošimas gali sukelti priklausomybę.